Hello, survivors, and welcome to Pixel Privateers. This is sort of a teaser video for you guys, as I have been given the go-ahead by Quadro Delta, the, uh, the developers on this project, to share it with you all well before it's available um, as sort of an exclusive uh, first look, I, I suppose you could say. But we're going to make about a five-minute video here. I don't want to spoil too much right now, and frankly, the game is not complete so um, I will be doing more updates as, uh, as, they, as they come across my desk here. So Alex Poiski is the producer on this particular game, and I'm going to put his contact information down in the description below. Um, and you can bounce any questions about the game as far as price and uh, release dates and all that off him. He'd be happy to help you with that information. My job is to hype the game and promote it and show it to you. So, I've got the easy part. Oh, and before we jump in and get started, I also want to point out that there is a version of Pixel Privateers out there that you can download and try yourself. It's very old. It's even a pre-pre-pre-pre-alpha, but uh, it's not being updated. But if you wanted to give it a try, um, you certainly can. I'll put a link to that down below as well. And there's a forum out there that you can join in the discussion. So if you like what you see here, guys, and you want to get involved uh, and talk to the developers and maybe give them some input, then I'll put a link to the forum down there um, along with all the other stuff. So with that said, it is now time to jump in and get started with Pixel Privateers. Let's go. All right, guys, here we are in Pixel Privateers. I'm going to go ahead and just give you the nickel tour for this particular episode, which means it'll be sort of a brief overview. I'm just going to show you the three main portions of the game. And then in the future, what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll look at all these things in greater detail and maybe even do like a little, uh, a little let's play as, as more updates come out. Because like I said earlier, the game is not complete, so uh, I don't want to start that yet. So, anywho, Pixel Privateers is a sort of roguelike 2D side-scrolling uh, real-time strategy RPG simulation or something like that. It's very much like its little sister. Quadro Delta has another game out called Pixel Piracy. Some of you may be familiar with that. If not, I'm going to put a link down below. And uh, this is kind of um, the next generation, almost, right? Where our pirates have turned in their ships their ocean-based ships and their flintlock pistols uh, for a spacecraft and phaser beams and laser beams and all kinds of uh, sci-fi weaponry and, and items to play around with. So basically now they are flying around in their spacecraft in a procedurally generated galaxy map. That's what this is here. And landing on planets that are also procedurally generated, and this is where we do the tactical combat. So we basically send a team down there and, uh, and go gather up that loot by killing bad guys. So let's just back up and let's start at the top. We'll go through all of these tabs. I call this the outfit management portion. So basically there are three portions of this game. The outfit management, which is all of this stuff you see here. The ship management, which is a bit different. We'll do that in a second. And then the tactical portion where you actually do the 2d side scrolling combat -y thing um so that's how you get around and you can fly around simply by uh double clicking and your ship moves around and again this is all procedurally generated and you find all kinds of planets out there we also do our crew management here so you start out with either two or three crew members depending on uh certain questions in the beginning of the game or certain answers the way you answer the questions anyway and I chose one that gave me an extra guy so I've got three privateers here um, this is where you can outfit them with the loot that you find down in the planets that you fight for and you can also train them up various skills and stats we have a science lab here and the outfit management screen as well and this is where we do our technology research you can see I have a few here, and we can unlock new technologies simply by dumping uh, points into this technology tree over in this side. We have item research as well, so when you find items that you don't know what it is or what it do, you can simply research it. So just like in Diablo, you will find unidentified items. You see a lot of question marks. And all these items, by the way, are randomly generated 
All the stats and everything are all randomly generated, so there's a lot of replayability there. You find all kinds of cool stuff. Now, what is this? Toxic, toxic gun? Oh, yeah, we just got this last night. Let's grab that. Uh, we also find artifacts out in the world. When you kill aliens, you take their organs, apparently, and bring them up to your ship and you research them. So these are all researched already. This is how you gain research points, and then you spend your research points on identifying items. Oh, I like it. Ooh, we'll go put that on somebody soon. Uh, market, I can't get to market right now because I'm not orbiting a, tr a planet that allows trade. We can clone our privateers. This, Since it is a roguelike, it does feature permanent death. If one of your soldiers here or your privateers dies, he's bye-bye. You don't get them back, so it's not a bad idea to clone them. Unfortunately, it's very expensive to do so. It requires lots of matter. And uh, this is one of our resources in the game. So we have credits, fuel, matter, and research points. Now matter, I'll show you how we get matter in a second here. Actually, let's do it right now. So to get matter, you come over here to your inventory screen. And if you don't want something over here, you can simply dematterize it. I'm um, not sure what I want to dematter right now. How about this? Yeah, it's a cruddy assault rifle, so let's do that. So watch my matter. Boom. Just do it. We disintegrate it, and we gain some matter. We use matter for deploying our troops down to planets. We use matter for um, cloning and replicating, so you, you, you need a lot of matter. In fact, let's segue into replicator. <laughs> um, so with the replicator, we can take our favorite items and duplicate them and again it costs matter very expensive so we're not going to do that right now and that's pretty much it for the outfit management portion of the game let me show you the second main portion and that is the ship uh building now this is very new it was very recently added just i don't know a few days ago it's not done there's really not much to do there but i'll show it to you anyway let's go so this is going to be where we build up our ship and it will have multiple components rooms and you can see that we have my my three crew members is kind of milling around on their own i need a drink says the captain uh i think that's the captain I'm not really sure but he's at the colorful bar here you can see all the fruity drinks back there we've got some games so this is really all just for aesthetic purposes right now guys but eventually we're going to have some functionality in this portion of the game in the shipbuilding, and I think we'll be able to add new modules or upgrade these modules or something. I'm really not completely sure about that, but we have the engine room over here. We have some uh, some inventory uh, um, warehouse space. We've got the leisure area here, so our our guys can get some R and R, a little rest and relaxation, work off the stress, and then we have the the uh, the control room. Right, this is where we do the flying and the scanning. And every now and then you'll see them talk about the room that they're in. That's pretty much all we can do right here. I can actually freeze the uh, the action, but there's nothing to do. I can't even select my guys yet. But that's it's coming. It'll be here soon enough. We will be able to uh, we'll be able to do some things down here and interact, hopefully, with these uh, with these rooms. Um, as far as I know, we will be able to get attacked on our own base. So. I don't know if you're familiar with XCOM, for example, but in XCOM, you have a base and you have your troops. Hey, you just slam the door right in his face. I got it. There you go. <laughs> Engines are running at 100% capacity. Good to know. Uh, but every now and then, your XCOM base would be attacked by alien squads and you'd have to fight them off. And that's pretty cool stuff. All right. Let's get back up to the, uh, the outfit management screens. I'll be right back. All right, guys, let's beam down to a planet and shoot some bad guys. So you do that from the galaxy map here, as I had said earlier. You basically click on, a, on a, uh, a planet, and you'll select your team and send them down. Now, when you select the planet, this map will populate with a diagram of the, uh, the structures that you've already seen so far. So these are all the rooms I've been to, the little yellow dots of the doors. We've got a tiny portion here left. I'm almost done. Let's send them down there and finish it off. Galarbana 5. Um, I don't know anything about this planet. haven't been there yet. So we'll do that another time. Let's select the team. Now you can select all of them. 
or one of them, or two of them, or whatever. But for every one that you send, you can see that it costs mana. Uh, mana <laughs> matter, but I'm just going to send them all because it's fun and I like overpowering everyone, all the bad guys. So, uh, critical mass, as they say. All right, here we go. Start the mission and we'll beam them down. Hold on to your butts, fellas. There they are. Okay, so now we're in the tactical portion of the game, and this is where the stand still and healer. The two D. Oh, I didn't give that guy his toxic gun. I should have given the toxi gun. It's an assault rifle. Um, if I go back now, it's going to cost more matter, so no big deal. We can hit spacebar to pause the action, and we can give very basic um, orders right now. There really isn't much to do here yet, guys, but eventually we're going to have, uh, there's going to be skills that they can use in combat. So you'll be able to pause the action if you want. You can just keep it in real time. It's up to you, uh, depending on how fast you are. Personally, I'm kind of a slow, dim-witted guy, and I need to pause it and then tell them what to do and then re-enable the action. But for right now, we only have a few toggles here. We have a formation toggle. Um, this is how, this is the attack, target to attack toggle. And we have also a couple of uh, class-based skills as well. But it's really not fleshed out yet, so I'm not going to talk too much about that, but I will at least show you some of the combat. So we're going to hop on this... Uh, bam, bam, bam. Same to you, pal. We're going to go down... Oh, let's go this way. There's an elevator over here. So we've cleared all of these rooms. We just have to go down this elevator, and there's something in here. We're 86% clear, so I think there might only be one or two rooms left. Going down. Down, down, down she goes. Where she goes, nobody knows. All right, so this is where we have not been yet, and I'm assuming that's why that button is red. Here we go. An enemy. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. So immediately my guys go to work, and they're going to make short work at him. And he's down. Terminating. Ooh, more. I didn't, I didn't see those guys back there. Get them, guys. Now I can stop it here again, and I can pick and choose targets for everyone to focus on. Uh, we can use some of these skills eventually when they're here. But right now, um, everybody is pretty much doing what they're supposed to be doing. You can see this nanobot injection. So my healer, my combat medic is actually healing somebody right now using his tool automatically because I have that toggle. So I've toggled automatic tool use. So he's gonna take care of everything on his own. If I wanted to shut that off and use the tool uh, manually, I could, and then I could uh, right click and tell him when to use it. But it's easy enough just to keep him on auto for right now. These guys are pretty low level. We shouldn't have any trouble with them. Come on guys, take him down, take him down. There we go. And now we get the loot. So hold down shift, we see what's out there. We got an impact pistol and some heavy heavy infantry armor. All gray items, so probably not very good. 91% cleared. I have a feeling there's a boss in here, and then we'll be done with it. No boss, just stuff. Oh, hold on, healing. Now, nice, a purple impact pistol. So the color indicates rarity, and purple is very high. Oh, here's a room way over here to the west. Let's go, fellas. Oh, I'm going to wait for the elevator to come down. Then we can cross the room. Yeah, heal up. It's here. We're not going up yet, guys. we still got enemies detected. And I think this is it. This is it. Get in there and chop away. I don't know why you're going all the way over there, guys. I'm not sure why they pick which targets, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> but our guys are pretty souped up right now. Level 5 taken on, like, level 1, so it's not too difficult. When we get up, uh, when we go to, to uh, some of the planets with higher level fiends, then uh, things might be a little bit different for us. Oh, there's another room. Because we do take some damage occasionally. But right now, it looks like we're totally OP for this particular planet. Okay, this could be the boss fight. Open it up. Nope, not yet. You'll be assimilated. Lots of binary numbers flying around here. 
Get this guy. Chop. Nice. Chop and back backstab chop. Right, I don't see a boss. Some of these levels do have bosses. Sometimes they're hidden in special rooms and you gotta hunt them down, but... 100% cleared! We did it! And there's no loot here. Okay, so we're done, guys. That's it. So now we can just beam right back up and just seeing if there's any more loot to grab. I guess that's all of it. So now that we are done, we can uh, we just get out of here. This should help. All right, so now we're back on the ship. And we can go check out the items that we got here. Let's go to item research. And actually, let's check artifacts. Oh, we didn't get any artifacts from those guys. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, sometimes you get artifacts um, from aliens. But I had already killed all the aliens on that planet. They were outside, a whole bunch of creepy-looking things. And I took their organs and researched them. Um, but we still have plenty of research points in the bank here, so we can take a look at some of these purple items and get them going. All right. And then we can, uh, we can train up our crew, too, so we gain some experience points. All right, guys, now let me show you one final thing before we go. You can see here that this planet that we just cleared of bad guys is now ours. It's claimed by us, and the population is rising rapidly. So the word has spread all around the galaxy that uh, the Pixel Privateers have made it safe for colonists to go and settle it. And here they come. And sooner or later, we are going to be able to do some trading with them that's not, uh, not something I've done yet, so I'm not sure exactly how that works, but I think sooner or later, this trade level will go up to one. See, right now it has trade amount zero, but when it reaches one, we'll be able to do some trading. And we can also do some, uh, we can hire a crew, but we don't, yeah, it's not a level two planet yet. And that's pretty much it for now. Oh, there we go. We have two shields now, so I don't know what that means. <laughs> but I will look into that for the next episode, and we'll do a bit more Pixel Privateers. So that's it in a nutshell, guys. Pixel Privateers, pre-alpha right now. Keep an eye on my channel, as I am the only person with this game right now. I have an exclusive to play and share on YouTube for you guys. So, uh, so stay tuned for more. Pixel Privateers in the future. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. And if you want to see more of this, definitely hit the like button and let me know. And leave a comment as well. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye-bye.